a teacher from North Island Secondary School. Today, I will introduce you to Unit Three: English Night in Stress and Pressure. In this lesson, we have three main parts. Part one: Vocabulary changes in adolescent. Part two: Pronunciation stress on the verb be in sentences. And part three, grammar, reported speech, we just review and question words before two infinitives. Now we come to part one, vocabulary. Now look at the pictures. Listen and repeat the words. Stress. Adolescence, frustrated, depressed, cognitive skill. Conflict. Self disciplined. Have you remembered all the words? Let's check the vocabulary with me. I have two columns column A with seven words, and column B with seven definitions. The duty is met A with the correct in B. Have you got the answers? Let's check. Number one, depressed. D, be sad and without hope. Number two, frustrated. J, feel annoyed because you cannot achieve what you want. Number three, stressed. A. Be worried and nervous. Number four, adolescent. F. Be developing into an adult. Number five, cognitive skills. B. Concentrate on work. Number six, conflict. E. An active disagreement as between opposing opinions or needs. Number seven. Self disciplined. C. Be able to make yourself do things. One more exercise for you. Choose the best answer. Number one. He gets a frustrated when people don't understand what he's trying to say. Number two. She's terribly. B. Depressed about losing her job. Number three. It may be a good idea to resolve serious conflicts between neighbors. Number four. We try to teach the children self-reliance and self-discipline. Number five. During A. Adolescent boys are sometimes very shy and lacking of self-confidence. Number six. Mary had been studying very hard for the exam, but she still felt C. Stressed. Number seven. He always concentrates on doing his work and knows how to organize his timetable. He has D. Cognitive skills. And we come to the part two, pronunciation. Stress on the verb be in sentences. Okay, how to stress on the verb be? When do we stress be in sentences? One, 
B in negative question. Isn't she beautiful? Two. B at the end of sentences. Are they from England? Yes, they are. <laughs> Number three for emphasis. Do you think she is coming? Yes, she is coming. Don't worry. Number four for contrast. You aren't worried about the exam. Good for you. I am worried, but I try not to show it. Remember, normally the verb be is unstressed in the middle at the start of a sentence for a statement or question. Example: She was stressed. Are you worried about something? However, the verb be is stressed in negative questions. And at the end of the sentences, example, aren't you coming? Yes, I am. Also, it is stressed for emphasis or contrast. Example, she isn't coming. She is coming, but she'll be a little late. Let's watch a video about. Stress B in sentences. I'm better than you. No, you aren't. I am. Look, I'm taller than you. Yes, you are taller than me, but I'm smarter than you. No, you aren't good at maths, but I am. Stop arguing. You're both as silly as each other. I show you the dialogue again. Underline the verb forms of be with stressed. Then listen to the recording to check. Now listen. I'm better than you. No, you aren't. I am. Look, I'm taller than you. Yes, you are taller than me, but I'm smarter than you. No, you aren't good at maths, but I am. Stop arguing. You're both as silly as each other. The verb be. Is stress R art M R M. I'm better than you. No, you aren't. I am. Look, I'm taller than you. Yes, you are taller than me. But I'm smarter than you. No, you aren't good at maths. But I am. Stop arguing. You're both as silly as each other. Exercise two. Unit three. Page twenty-nine. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity six. Look at the following sentences and underline the verb forms of be, which should be stressed. Then listen to the recording to check and practice. One. You aren't worried about the exam. Good for you. I am worried, but I try not to show it. Two. Do you think Jack is good at Japanese? He is, but he's a bit shy to speak it. Three. Isn't badminton her favourite sport? Yes, it is. Four. Who's he? Five. 
Sorry, we're late. Actually, you aren't. We haven't started yet. Six. Is she happy at the new school? Yes, she is. She likes it a lot. After listening, can you tell me what B is stressed? Let's see the answers. Unit three. The dialogue at home. Page twenty nine. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity six. Look at the following sentences and underline the verb forms of be which should be stressed. Then listen to the recording to check and practice. One. You aren't worried about the exam. Good for you. I am worried, but I try not to show it. Two. Do you think Jack is good at Japanese? He is, but he's a bit shy to speak it. Three. Isn't badminton her favourite sport? Yes, it is. Four. Who's he? Five. Sorry, we're late. Actually, you aren't. We haven't started yet. Six. Is she happy at the new school? Yes, she is. She likes it a lot. Now the last part, part three, grammar. We just review about reported speech. Read the conversation in getting started again. Underline the reported speech. Then rewrite in diary speech what Mai said to her brother folk and her parents. What is the reported speech sentence? The first one. She said she was too tired and didn't want to go out. She told me she wanted to be a designer. My parents said design graduates wouldn't find jobs easily and they wanted her to get a medical degree. Let's see. What did the speech Mai said to her brother? I'm too tired and don't want to go out. So, the reported speech Fob said to Emily is She said she was too tired and didn't want to go out. The direct speech Mai said to Emily I want to be a designer. So, the reported speech Emily said to folk is She told me she wanted to be a designer. Let's review the form of reported speech with statements. I have an example. Mary can't come here, he said. The reported speech. He said. Or he said that Mary couldn't come there. The form. Subject 1 plus said told object plus that or not plus subject 2 and verb past tense. With WH questions. Example. What are you talking about? 
the teacher asked. Reported speech. The teacher asked us what we were talking about. The form. Subject one plus asked object plus wh question word plus subject two plus verb past tense. With the form of yes no questions. Are you angry? He asked. The reported speech. He asked me whether or if I was angry. The form. Subject one plus asked object plus if or whether plus subject two plus verb past tense. Commands, request or advice. Help me, please. He said to me. He asked me to help him. The form. Subject one plus asked. Advice to object to a not to verb. Look at the table. In the left column, we have the direct speech, and in the right column, we have the reported speech. If you use present symbol in direct, we have to train to past symbol in reported. Present continuous to past continuous. Present perfect to past perfect. Past symbol to past symbol of past perfect. Will to good. Can to could. Must to have to. And may to mind. You have to learn them by heart. How about change place and time? From direct speech, today we change to that day for reported speech. Now to then or at the moment. Yesterday to the day before. Days ago to days before. Last week, the week before. Next year, the following year. Tomorrow, the next day, the following day. Here, there, this, that, these. Those ago, previously, before, tonight, that night. How about pronouns? Pronoun changes in reported speech. Why using reported speech? We train the pronouns according to the situation. Now we have three situations for examples. Situation one. I will go for a walk. She told me. So we and I to report the speech. She told me that she would go for a walk. Situation two. We made a cake with cream. Maria said. Maria said they had made a cake with cream. Situation three. I miss you. He said. He said he missed me. Now let's play a game. I have a direct speech. You have to choose the correct reported speech A, B, or C. Number one. We will visit you this week. My parents told me. What do you choose A, B, or C? Ah, the answer is A. My parents told me they would visit me that week. Number two. Our teacher asked us, "What are you most worried about?" A, B, or C? Of course, the correct answer is B. Our teacher asked us what we were most worried about. Number three. I'm so delighted. I've just received a surprise birthday present from my sister. 
spoon told me? The answer is C. Phương told me she was so delighted because she had just received a surprise birthday present from her sister. Number four. Kate can keep calm even when she has lots of pressure, Tom said. The correct answer is C. Tom said Kate could keep calm even when she... Number 5 I got a very high score in my last test, Mom, she said. You must choose answer C. She told her mother she had got a very high score in her last test. Number six. It's a yes no question. Do you sleep at least eight hours a day? The doctor asked him. You should choose the answer. A. The doctor asked him if or whether he slept at least 8 hours a day. We move to another part of grammar. Question words plus two infinitives. We can use question words. Who, what, where, when, how. Before a two infinitive to express a situation. That it is difficult or uncertain. Example. We don't know who we should contact. Pay attention to clause. We should contact. And we train to. We don't know who to contact. Change to a two infinitive. Look out. Why cannot be used before two infinitive? We often use the verbs ask, wonder, know, not know, decide, not decide, be sure, not be sure, tell, not tell, have no idea, before the question word, plus a two infinitive. We have another exercise. Rewrite a sentences using question words plus two infinitives. Number one. I don't know what I should wear. Pay attention on I should. We can write. I don't know what to wear. Number two. Could you tell me where I should sign my name? Could you tell me where to sign my name? Number three. I have no idea when we should leave for the bus. We can rewrite. I have no idea when to leave for the bus. Number four. We're not sure where we should hang the painting. We are not sure where to hang the painting. Number five. He wondered how he could tell this news to his parents. He wondered how to tell this news to his parents. Number six. They can't decide who should go first. And we can write. They can't decide who to go first. Question words before two infinitives can be used to report questions about something that should be done. For example, what should I do? She said. We change to report the speech. She wondered what to do. To do is to infinitive.
in the report this page. Example 2. When should I break the sad news to him? He Hoa asked. When we report this bit, we use not sure. Hoa was not sure when to break the sad news to him. To break. Example 3. Who can I turn to for help with my homework now? Min said. Min had no idea who to turn to for help with his homework. Look out. To report yes no questions, we use weather before to infinitive. Remember, if cannot be used in this case. For example, should I tell my parents what I really think? She wondered. You change to report this page. She wondered. Now, you choose whether or if. Of course, whether. To tell her parents what she really thought. <laughs> Number one, should I spend more time learning to write essays? Tom wondered. You choose A or B? The answer is A. Tom wondered whether to spend more time learning to write essays. Number two, should I buy the house or wait? He wondered. You choose A or B? Yes, of course, it's B. He can't decide whether to buy the house or wait. I have an exercise for you. Rewrite the following questions in reported speech using question words before two infinitives. Remember the tip. You may use the following verbs. Ask, wonder, be sure, not be sure, have no idea. No, not no. Decide, not decide. Tell, not tell. Let's start with number one. How would we use this support service? They wondered. The report is page. They wondered how to use that support service. Number two. Who should I turn to for help? He asked. He had no idea who to turn to for help. Number three. Mom, when should I turn off the oven? May asked her mother. May asked her mother when to turn off the oven. Number four. Where should we park our bikes? Asked Phong and Min. Phong and Min couldn't decide where to park the bikes. Number five. Should we call her now? He asked. He was not sure whether to call her then. Number six. What should we do to make Lin feel happier? They wondered. They wondered what to do to make Lin feel happier. At the end of this lesson, we should discuss about what are the causes of stress in teenagers? And tell us about your opinion. Look at the suggestions and discuss about the causes of stress in teenagers. I never be good at math. I'm just too stupid. Why does he make me do all of his homework? It's not fair. And he says, if I don't do it, he makes my life difficult. I must get the highest score in this exam. 
I must be the best. I have this big assignment to complete, and I don't know where. I give you some minutes to think, to discuss, and write about your opinions. Here are some common causes. Look at the map. We can see the school pressures and frustrations, physical changes, unsafe living environment, having too high expectations, negative feelings about themselves, problems with classmates at school. Can you write more causes? To the map. As we have learned earlier, there are lots of causes lead to stress in teenagers. How can we relieve stress? Now let's watch a video and figure it out. Things. Take a few more deep breaths, because as you now know. Stress is a physical reaction, and deep breathing helps to counteract its effects. So, what else can you do? Okay, top tips to reduce stress. First, get plenty of exercise. Let out all that locked-up energy. Now, back to the problem. Get in control. Scope out the situation and how you're going to tackle it. Don't stress alone. Talk to someone, socialize, and have a laugh. <laughs> you can't laugh and quake with fear at the same time. Get down with nature on a big or small scale. And if your mind won't stop worrying, give it something else to do instead. Here are some strategic solutions. You can take a break, then you will feel ready to start again. Or break a lot of tasks into smaller tasks. Or get down with nature. Or talk to someone about this and ask them for help. That's the lesson today. Thank you for your attention. See you later.